I am Dr. Ramana Prasad, consultant pulmonologist in uh, Krishna Institute of Medical Sciences, Hyderabad. Uh, being a pulmonologist, I will be seeing a lot of patients coming with respiratory problems, and the majority of the patients will be coming with breathing difficulty, running nose, nose blocks, cough, chest congestion, and so on and so on. When I go into the depth of the, their symptoms, uh, invariably few of the patients will be telling their symptoms got aggravated when they were uh, cleaning the house, particularly when they were using uh, acid as a toilet cleaner. And some of the patients who are already known asthmatics, they complained that their problem, which was under control with medications, got aggravated and they had to see the doctor when they used acid as a toilet cleaner. So always acid is going to be a health hazard. And there is one problem, particularly a life-threatening situation, what we see, patients who are getting exposed to uh, large quantities of uh, acid fumes. Whenever a large uh, bottle of acid is broken, they'll be getting exposed to a large quantity of fumes where the person will be developing breathing difficulty within no time. His oxygen levels will be uh, falling down. And by the time he reaches hospital, he'll be in acute respiratory failure where he'll be leading to uh, medical uh, ICCU and requiring ventilatory support. That is a life-threatening situation. Uh, coming to the uh, study conducted or the survey conducted by Indian Medical Association, coming to the doctor's data, uh, 150 doctors all over the India were uh, interviewed and all of them almost unanimously they concluded that acid is a potential health hazard. One is a short-term implication, the other one is called as long-term implication. If you see the short-term implications, most of them will have breathing difficulty, watering of the eyes. Uh, if the acid touches the body, there will be burns. If acid spills over, then there will be eye ulceration and other problems. These are short implications. But coming on to the long implication, long-term implications, you will see Majority of the problems are lung-related problems, respiratory-related problems. Out of these problems, a new asthma patients will be developing. Are the patients with asthma, they will have recurrent episodes of uh, breathlessness. And slowly, the patients will move towards chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, which is a COPD, a irreversible uh, phenomena. And they can develop allergic bronchitis, uh, skin ulcerations, skin uh, pigmentation, and skin allergies also. The other things are like uh, kidney damage, liver damage, and uh, loss of vision because of the cataract. These are the long-term complications or implications. Some of these are uh, related to uh, inhalation, ingestion, and eye exposure. All these things most of us know about the risk factors and uh, health risks associated with acids. Coming to the family data, Hyderabad low, 450 families when uh, they interviewed, interview chase in Apudu, surprising Aravayar Satham Mandi, still Inka acid use chase to Narila, housewife, Ganivandi, homemakers, Ganivandi, still acid use chase to Narila, where Rakmaina. Toilet cleaners available. Unna gani arvayar saathamam use cheshtuna. Yendu kela use cheshtuna ran wal nadi gite. Wal chepi na reasons. Friend saathamam chepi na endante karid takwa low cost. Plus wal inka chepi na reason endante ikinda floors me the pade na markal na gani wande toilet lo na markal na gani wande megita wat kante acid baga clean chas dhan wal udesh. Muda reason chepin then then te germs away the bacteria away the untaya, what will need acid do, bagat some pass the Migata acid clean, toilet cleaners contain. Illa cast grinchana, alo chinchana logota, Mikavana problems face chase are Ila acid use chase in a potente Yaber and Sathaman the Makudga, breathing difficulty which in the eyes much in the Jeperu, Mupek Sathaman the Kalala Niruch in the Jeperu, Ulanta burning sensation which in the Nirvanal Sathaman Jeperu. Skin irritation and then okay, Pajan Satham and Jepper. Will keep Telisikuda, it went to problems, Ustuna and Telisikuda, still Aravar Satham and the 
యాసిడ్ ని యూస్ చేస్తూ ఉన్నారు యాసిడ్ మన టాయిలెట్ క్లీన్ చేసేదానికి కొంత శాతంలో మాత్రం అంటే ఫిఫ్టీ పర్సెంట్లో మాత్రం వల్ల ఏ హెల్త్ ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ వస్తాయనేది వాళ్ళకి అసలు అవేర్నెస్ లేదు ఫ్యామిలీలో ఎంతమంది అయితే ఉంటున్నారో యాసిడ్ బోస్ ఎవరైతే క్లీన్ చేస్తున్నారో ఫ్యామిలీ మెంబర్స్ ఎవరైతే ఉన్నారో సగటున రెండున్నర గంట నెలకి యాసిడ్కి ఎక్స్పోజ్ అవుతూనే ఉన్నారనమాట యు సి పీపుల్ సఫరింగ్ విత్ ఆస్తమా ఆర్ అలర్జీ దే రిక్వైర్ సమ్ ట్రిగరింగ్ ఫ్యాక్టర్ టు మేక్ ద ఎయిర్ వేస్ కమింగ్ టు క్లోజర్ ఆర్ స్పాజం బ్రాంకో స్పాజం సో యాసిడ్ అండ్ యాసిడ్ స్మెల్ యాసిడ్ ఫ్యూమ్స్ వర్క్ యాజ్ ఎ ట్రిగ్గర్స్ టు కాజ్ దట్ బ్రాంకో స్పాజం వన్స్ దే గెట్ ఎక్స్పోజ్ టు యాసిడ్ స్మెల్ అండ్ ఫ్యూమ్స్ ది ఎయిర్ వేస్ విల్ కమింగ్ టు నారోయింగ్ that itself causes asthma acid is also one of the triggering factor there are so many triggering factors same person may be having a pet at home that again becomes a triggering factor yeah, it's a very good question actually we don't have exact numbers but the, uh, one thing surprising thing is even the maid is cleaning the toilet normally the homemaker stands there to see how good she is cleaning so both of them are getting exposed to it Yeah, that's what I told you. The very clear-cut example is chemical pneumonitis, where it can lead to a life-threatening situation.